Swing comes all the way around, back to Drum. Colin Gall, briefly double teamed, sees an opening for the hammer, puts it up and it flops into the hands of Zachary Theodore. Up the line, Dunn sends it. A big layout and it's caught just inside the end zone. <laughs> the ref psyched me out there, but it's a score. Jesse Cohen, Sean Ham comes underneath. Now a shot to the end zone, looking for Wesley Groth, and he's got it on the goal line and he dishes it into the end zone for Travis Dunn and the Growler score. Michael Keoy gets it to Bacon. Bacon sees an opening for the hammer. And Jimenez goes up and he's got it. And a, a, a little curtsy to Yosenda, who was playing defense. Steiner to Keoy. Up the line, Beatty. Tries to go over the top of the defense. It's tipped and it's caught in the back of the end zone. Oh my. Beatty with Bacon in the backfield. Bacon not there on the strike cut, but he goes back on the seven cut. It's tipped and it's knocked away. Great defense from the Growlers. That lefty forehand, so dangerous from Okita. Scuber. Oh, that's a beauty. The upside down scoring throws continue in this one. Sean Hamm. Beatty looking to the end zone, and what a layout block, but is it caught? It's up! A score at the back of the end zone on a layout catch. Landisman hauling it in. Wow. It's too, it's too bad everyone's going to forget about that block now. That was really impressive. Beatty, 10 seconds to go. He takes a look at the clock. There's nothing there. He's just holding the disc. He's just forced to put it up deep. It's going to get to the end zone. Will it be caught? No. Yes. yes. It absolutely will. But the referees are going goal. Call a goal. I thought maybe there was a chance they were going to call it off, but no. It's a score. The Aviators, which, to their credit, they've taken advantage of. Done. Looking deep. That's a great throw, deep. And Dunn continuing to show it off as Wesley Groth hauls in the score. Tyler Bacon steps into a huge backhand looking for Hockey Menez. One on one coverage and great defense. Trevor Purdy there. Looks like he had a, a better read on it than Jimenez. And Jimenez and Purdy have been going back and forth. They've having a fun game against one another. And dish to the end zone. Helton gets the assist. Ham gets the score. Six seconds to go. Stall count getting high. McDougal has to go to the end zone. It goes over the head of the defense, and it's caught for the score. And with one second on the clock, finds Bacon. Dangerous pass to the far side from Bacon, but there's no defense over there. Never got a look at it. And now thrown into the end zone, but knocked down. See Padula playing really far off Tran there to hold the force. Done. Looking deep, he's got a cutter. And into the end zone, it's a break. It's a Growler's lead, 19 to 18. Milardovic gets the score on the throw from Dunn. Weaver up ahead. McDougal steps into a backhand. Contested and knocked away. Great defense from the Growlers, double coverage. But they are going to get back to work with under 90 seconds to go here. They need a score. And a turnover. And, you know, not using a timeout there could prove to be fatal. Especially at the end of this long point. San Diego now with a chance to run out of the clock with about a minute left. Shot goes up, looking for Helton. He's all alone, so and much, that's going to do it. So much for running out of the clock. They just can score. An absolute dagger.